about Whitaker because Whitaker's uh, getting a little befuddled now because Joey's telling him things to do and he's misinterpreted. Because Joey told him when you make a miss, when he goes off balance, nail the guy. And Well, it may be a one-handed effort on the part of Whitaker right now. He did see him use that left once, but he saw a big opening back in that seventh round. But that was about the only left he threw, so the hand is a source of discomfort to turn out at this stage. He appeared, as Angelo told you, to injure it in the later stages of training. He has experience along these lines. He broke his other hand back in 86 against John Montez and had to go the last six rounds in one-on fashion, much as he may do this fight. I tell you, Perell is really putting up a game fight. And what he did the, uh, the last clinch, he hit him with a shot with that left hand to the kidney to make it look like he's using the left hand. There he goes, hitting him to the body with the left hand. Now the first five rounds were Curly Whitaker's, I would think. Where do you go from there? Now that we're in the eighth round. Well, it's just going to be downhill from here on out because if you're a one-handed fighter, you're not going to lick a Ramirez. How did you see the last two rounds, six and seven? I gave him the Ramirez because he was uh, hurting buddy shot, really hitting him, uh, more punches, and he's getting to Purnell. He knows he has time, the champion does. And he is always there for Whitaker. Get out of there for now, I'm sure his corner is saying, because that is where he can ill afford to be. He does get out of there. As it continues, this battle for the WBC lightweight trial. A minute to go in this round. Round eight. Ramirez with 100 victories and six losses. He has tailed 82 of his 100 wins. Cornell is really getting hurt with those body shots. That last clinch, he really edged in sideways. So I think it may have even hurt a rib on his left side. Well, he uses the left hand there. He's not too much up. Gets out of the way of that solid right shot from Ramirez. Whitaker's handicaps appear to be mounting in the late going here in Paris, France tonight. Now yeah, we heard uh, Lou Duva in the corner while we're away tell Whitaker 12 more minutes and you're the champion of the world as we head now to this ninth round. Still leading, but Ramirez catching up. This is the kind of fight that will go right down to the wire because they're both, I think they're both in great, great shape. Only thing I'm worried about, I think Whitaker hurt a rib because when he goes, he puts his right side in so he don't get hit on the left side. And of course, the left hand uh, to be considered too that he injured about three rounds ago, although he has not complained about either that I have heard listening to the corner. You no, know, he hasn't given that away in the corner, really. But it is obvious by his style that the left hand is not injured is being saved for a much more important occasion than this and I can't think of what it might be. Well, there's nothing more remarkable than fighters the way they can suck up pain and that's what he's doing. But I definitely think he hurt his, his he's hurt on the side there and, he, and he's always favoring when he goes into the clinch. You notice the Pernell is moving a little slower to get in the way out of those clinches which is going to get nailed. The judges who will score this are Harry Gibbs of England, Newton Campos of Brazil, and Louis Michel of France. And we expect, the way we have seen it, that Whitaker has the lead built up in the first five rounds, with Ramirez rapidly gaining on him. It is scheduled for 12. This bout is taking place in a tent which was thrown up in a couple of days here at a cost of 15 or one and a half million francs, about $30,000. And it's all the comforts of home. And it's the arena here in the suburb of Le Valois, Paris, France. I tell you, it's really a beautiful setup. A beautiful setup for a fight. 
It's a community of 55,000. Over 5,000 have turned up here with a price of $400 inside for the WBC Lightweight Championship. 45 seconds to go in the round. Middle to the left, this to the right. Well, he's got to stop trading because he's going to get hit with a shot. So he's opening up and he's going to get nailed. Whitaker definitely tried to buy this time all the time. Doing a lot of good stuff in there to avoid getting hit. Oh, got a good left in that time, Whitaker did. So he is willing to use it. The referee keeps warning about turning him his back. I don't know if the referee's going to take away, you know, a point from him for doing that. Well, until now, he has had a whole lot to do with this referee as this one comes to a close. The tenth round is underway. Three to go here. Whitaker pursues the championship. Let's check his corner between rounds a moment ago. I'm getting everything you want, baby, because you're dancing beautiful out there, baby. This is you. This is Olympic time, right? Let's take this thing. You got three rounds to go. Okay. Come on. This is the Olympic title. Three rounds. Let's go. Fight those guys. Lou also told him it's now a three-round amateur fight. Trouble is, you don't start your amateur fights having gone nine against one of the toughest guys in the division. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, they're doing a good job of pumping him up, all of them, and he said, letting them know it's only nine minutes to go to win a title. That's what they're trying to juice him up for. Well, Ramirez came on, I thought, to win six, seven, and eight, but Whitaker might have won that ninth round. If he did, it's a very important victory. He surely won the first five. He's getting hit some horrendous body shots by grabbing and holding. Oh, 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 away. And he gets oh, a caution oh, from Duke oh, on the left oh. leg. <laughs> Again, a little bit of a walk there. It worked. Got him some more time. Yep. Got him a lecture. Here is connecting with the left. Scoring as he comes in as the Mexican world champion bangs away at the body. A little over a minute to go. This is the 10th round. Whitaker's taking out all the stops. He's every trick in the book. Biden is time for a wounded nail. I don't care what experience Ramirez has. He's got to be frustrated by the movement of Whitaker. Oh, here. God, yes. He just got wobbled by a shot, too. Got he got nailed off body. balance. That's right. Right. Whitaker has displayed a great deal of heart. And he has shown, certainly, ring wisdom and character beyond his 15 pro bouts. This 24-year-old from Norfolk, Virginia, giving Mr. Ramirez a dance lesson. Dance lesson and a boxing lesson. He seems like a real good fight. The constant movement. There is the solid right coming through now. Uses the left hand, which he has used sparingly. Just seconds to go here in this 10th round, as Whitaker's movement seems relentless in the face of the persistent attack by Ramirez. Stay with us from Paris. Here is the 11th round of a bruising battle between Ramirez and Whitaker for the WBC lightweight title. The clash, the style, the speed prevailing. The hair against the tortoise right now. Let's check in with the corner of Jose Luis Ramirez between the last round. Ramirez pointed the manager saying uh, he talked to Ramirez and Ramirez said he's muy masiado. He's very strange the way he's fighting. But the thing he said, okay, okay, downstairs, downstairs. I would think here in the 11th round, if Whitaker stays on his feet, he has won this fight. Well, I got him ahead, but you never know. And there is a danger, of course, with this man that he may not stay on his feet. Ramirez seemed to indicate a slow start and then a late big finish and maybe even a knockout in his fight. He may need it now to win. 
Harris has got a good nosebleed, but those shots he's been catching are starting to take her toll. Whitaker using both hands more freely now, certainly the left, which was we suspected to be injured. He has an orthopedic surgeon probably with him, and the word from the doctor is that he did not certainly break any bone in the hand, he feels, but he may have strained it. But using it more confidently now. Here's the slugfest he should not be involved in, and now Wisely steps away. Ramirez's eyes, right eye is starting to close on him pretty good. But that Whitaker is really doing a number, walking Ramirez out of the clinches and, and biding good time. Yes, this Olympic champion may be on his way to a world title finalist. Might have taken him a little longer, but he's heading there in style, and he keeps it going here. 